how important is it to to detach that emotional aspect of it from investing? Because I, I, it's something you've hit on a few times when talking about it. Like, I guess, how important is it and, and how do you do that? Because I think for a lot of people, that can be really hard. Yeah, you got to go through it first, right? Like, I think that's the first thing is you can't sit on the sidelines and or that's what you're going to be doing the whole time. So you got to expose yourself to playing the game. And, you know, you get out there on the court, you're going to sometimes lose. You're sometimes going to win, but you're always going to learn. Right. And that's the most important thing is you're going to learn. And so when you start detaching that emotional piece from it, what you have to do is say, uh, what am I feeling? Okay. Why am I feeling it? Uh, and it'll also expose some other things that may be beneficial for you to, uh, dig into your own personal life. Cause money's attached to so many different things inside of us, whether it be experiences, there's a spiritual element to it. There's the, uh, security side of it. There's the, uh, identity side of it. So you really get to flesh all that out. But if you don't go through those experiences and, and, and then reflect upon it, I don't think you really get much further, but you gotta be honest with yourself. It's so interesting because I feel like a lot of our ideas about money um, are a lot of the a lot of what we create. Does that make sense? Like, you mm -hmm. know, you think like like I'll give you an example. So I my 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 parents, um, my dad didn't finish high school because he you know thought he was going to play pro baseball. It didn't really happen. My mom, uh, you know, her dad got sick her senior year of high school, so she didn't go to college. So I come from two parents that are very very blue collar, and to them, if you could make a hundred thousand dollars, it was like the most money that ever any person could ever make. <laughs> you're a millionaire. <laughs> oh, you're a millionaire, man. So like. For me personally, I will tell you, like, it took me a long time to get over that. And it's, it's, it's interesting, like, what our limiting beliefs on money can do to us. Yeah. So I would recommend a book, The Psychology of Money. It's a really great book to uh, understand what happens inside your brain when dealing with money. Uh, there's a lot of other really good uh, books out there, but that's one that I really loved going through. And when you talk about the paradigms, you got to challenge your belief system as well. And for me, it's really hard because I have some deep seated beliefs about money, but they weren't my beliefs. It was somebody else's beliefs that's been imposed on me, which is fine, but I never challenged them. Therefore, mm -hmm. when I was finally wrestling with them, it was like, you know, like how might, how might this new concept be better for me while not, violating my values, if that makes sense. Cause I'm never going to, I'm never going to violate my core fundamental values, sure. but, uh, but I can open myself up to a different paradigm on money in and of itself. And so being here in the Bible belt, right. A lot of people growing up, if you make a lot of money, they're like, ugh. like people have this negative view on people who do very well in business and make a lot. And so for me, what my purpose is with it is, you got to guard yourself against it. Like the Bible speaks tons of verses about money and the implications of it in our life, but it also speaks a lot to being a good steward of the resources that are given. It tells stories about people that God made the richest people in the world, but the thing that they had deep down was this ability to not let the money be the distraction, but they were focused on a per higher purpose mm -hmm. for using those resources. And so for me, that's where I really said, you know what? Like I'm passionate about business. I'm passionate about money, uh, making money because it's fun. Like it's just a game where you, if you put good energy towards something, more energy comes back. And that's what money is. It's just essentially just an output of energy that comes from an input that you're putting into something. And so I've also been able to experience that side of giving. And so all these elements is really what makes our company unique is because Yes, like we're so interested. We, we want people to experience freedom, freedom of thought when it comes to money, freedom to choose the thing that they want to do, have that total control, but also be able to leave change because transformation requires you removing something or turning from something old into something new. And that's really at the core of what we're trying to do here. I can, re I can really, really appreciate 